second most common uh, abnormality is uh, was GUT related. Uh, uh, and most common was the bilateral hydronephrosis. One rare case of Mullerian duct abnormality was also seen. And in the uh, ultrasound image, the red arrows uh, showing the dilated uh, uh, uterus and the green arrow is showing dilated vagina. The uterus was separated by a uh, ecogenic uh, septum and dividing the uh, uterus into uh, two parts. And because of uh, uh, dilated uterus and uh, uh, vagina, uh, there was compression of uh, both ureters uh, and causing uh, bilateral gross hydroureteronephrosis. Uh, the ultrasound findings were confirmed by MRI imaging. There were uh, uh, thorax abnormalities, musculoskeletal abnormalities, and other miscellaneous abnormalities. If we consider the uh, abnormality system wise, then we can see the most commonly detected abnormalities are CNS abnormalities, forming 54% of the total detected abnormalities, followed by genitourinary tract abnormalities. The, the role of uh, ultrasound uh, can never be uh, undervalued despite multiple advancement in the field of radio radiology over the past few decades. Ultrasound provides real-time imaging in evaluation of fetal cardia and uh, dynamic imaging of fetal movements and breathing. And uh, multiple studies have been done which suggest that whenever there is doubt of uh, uh, fetal anomaly, the MRI uh, can be done. Uh, MRI uh, uh, is also a choice whenever diagnosis on ultrasound is un inconclusive. Uh, MRI helps in uh, removal of uh, limitations uh, like uh, poor uh, visualization of fetal parts and obese patient in oligohydramnios, polyhydramnios. So MRI also helps in evaluating in such patients. It has been shown that uh, MRI uh, is most useful if we are suspecting CNS abnormality. And in non-CNS abnormalities, MRI has limited role. MRI can help in better characterizing the fetal CNS abnormality uh, and better than uh, USD even in third trimester. Other anomalies which can be detected in MRI are uh, congenital pulmonary air malformation, congenital diaphragmatic hernia, uh, Multiple studies have shown that uh, CNS abnormalities are most common followed by the abdominal ab uh, abnormalities. And in the present study also, CNS related ab abnormalities were maximum in number, uh, forming the 54% uh, of the total abnormalities, followed by genitourinary tract abnormalities, thoracic and musculoskeletal abnormalities. And in this study, uh, we have uh, we have compared the uh, diagnosis made on ultrasound with the diagnosis of MRI, and we have concluded that the ultrasound was able to detect all the abnormalities. But MRI was able to confirm the anomaly and provided additional details in some cases, and hence provided more confidence to the gynecologist to decide the fate of the pregnancy. And uh, under this study, we can conclude that ultrasound with color Doppler is a well accepted and primary imaging of modality for anomaly scan and throughout the pregnancy. And the role of the MRI is to confirm or exclude or further define 
or further provide additional details of the anomalies detected on ultrasound. And both of these imaging modalities are complementary to each other in reaching a final diagnosis and management of the uh, pregnancy. Thank you.